in this tip of the day, let's take a look at the one CNC job sheet. Now the job sheet is very much like a setup sheet in that it's going to contain specific information like cycle time and the type of tooling that was used. Now to access the job sheet, simply take your cursor to the toolpath group, double click on that. Once you do that, you're going to be provided with the NC processing dialog box. Here's where you're going to want to put in things like your program number. Let's make this program number 25. Uh, if you want to, you could put in an optional part number here. Let's call this PN, how about 440. Uh, the author, work shift. You can also put in a note here like, let's say, uh, check coolant levels. All right, we'll say that looks good. Now to get to the job sheet, just click on job sheet here. And what's going to happen is 1CNC is going to give us a job sheet dialog box. Now ultimately 1CNC is going to create a PDF file. If you want to view the PDF, just click on view PDF. And here's a nice preview. So here's the 1CNC job sheet. You can see it, it includes all kinds of information like the post date, cycle time. There's our part number, program number. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see here that we have our, our notes, check coolant levels. Here's our T1, T2, and T3. If we scroll down a little bit more, you also have a very nice graphic representation of the part as well as the X0, Y0, Z0. Here's an isometric view, a top view, a front view, and this black cross represents X0, Y0. Very nice. And as I scroll down here, you can see that we can see the pertinent information for each machining operation. So if we take a look at the pocketing operation, it gives us the cycle time, max tool depth, work offset, the coolant that was used, and all the pertinent tooling information. And the same is provided for each machining operation. It's very, very nice. Now I want to show you some neat things about the setup sheet that you may not know, and that is that you can actually configure it. So if we go to settings here, you have all these different options here that you can turn on and turn off. So for example, you may not want to take a look at the how about the how about the file name we can turn that off we're going to leave the cycle time on let's say we're not too worried about the toolpath group so we're going to turn that off now if we scroll down here also for each tool you have these parameters that you can also turn on and turn off and for example just for the heck of it let's turn off the work offset on that okay another thing you can do is set the font style now I wouldn't recommend changing this, but you definitely can. And just to show that it can be changed, let's pick something that's going to be really easy to see that we made a change on. How about we use this Comic Sans MS? Okay, that looks great. So now we're going to go back into View PDF. And now you can see that the font style has definitely changed. And the parameters that we told 1CNC not to output or present us have also been turned off. All right, so the 1CNC job sheet, very powerful. Let me show you just one other thing here. I'm going to put the uh, font style back to what it was. There we go. That looks good. And I'm going to turn these other options back on that I had turned off earlier. Let's turn that on and let's turn this back on. Now another thing you can do is, of course, you can save the PDF file, you can also print it out. But another thing I'd like to show you, I'm going to go ahead and close this down, is the job sheet can also warn you if you've accidentally used the same turret position uh, for multiple tools. Let me give you an example. I don't know if you know this, but you can just highlight each machining operation and as you do that, you get a lot of nice information about that machining operation down here. So there's our station number, uh, T1 M6 or turret 1 for that first machining operation. If I were to click on the next operation, that's using uh, turret 2, which is exactly what I want to use. But I'm going to change this to 1. And let's say we made a mistake. All right, so both these machining operations are using uh, T1 or turret 1. So now if I were to double click on the toolpath group, and let's go into our job sheet. And if we take a look at the job sheet, it's going to warn us that we're using multiple or duplicate turret positions. So let's go to view PDF. And as I scroll down, here you go. Here's the warning. Warning, duplicate turret stations used. Now in some instances that might be okay, but here I can reference this tool summary and I can see that definitely I use the same turret position for each one of these. And that's a real easy fix. We can just come back over here, like we mentioned earlier, just left click, come down to your station number, type in whatever station you'd like and click the check button and you're done. 
All right, so that's the one CNC job sheet. It's very powerful and you can configure it as well. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next tip of the day.